2022 brought forth many new athletes that completely changed the way that we think about track and field. From all over the globe, new records were set with surprising regularity this year. However, one of the most compelling individuals that truly shocked the world was a 22-year-old senior from the University of Kentucky whose record-breaking performances in 2022 were even greater than many had previously realized. With one of the most dominant and breakthrough years in collegiate history, Abby Steiner became one of the most victorious and well-recognized athletes in track and field this year. From her indoor NCAA campaign to her outdoor collegiate season to her double gold medal winning world championships in Eugene, Oregon, Steiner's 2022 was long, challenging, but it was also certainly full of gold medal glory. And even though you might think you know about Abby Steiner, you just might be surprised at how great her year truly was. Now, to kick off her season, Steiner opened up with an undefeated indoor 200-meter record, and in the process of winning five races pretty handily, she also broke the American record with a time of 22.09, taking down the previous time of Gwen Torrance, who ran a time of 22.33 back on March 2nd of 1996. As you can clearly see, this record had stood for almost 26 years, and yet Steiner had absolutely crushed this mark by well over two-tenths of a second. After sweeping her indoor 200-meter races and then winning the NCAA title in 22.16, Steiner only continued her dominance into the outdoor season. On April 3rd, she set a new personal record in the 100 meters, achieving a time of 10.92 seconds, her very first 100 meter race under the 11 second barrier. On May 28th, she again set a new PB in the 200 meter dash, running a time of 22.01. But then on June 11th of 2022, we really saw Steiner turn on the jets as she broke yet another collegiate record, this time in the 200 meter distance. In the NCAA Finals, which once again took place in Eugene, Oregon, Steiner was finally set to clash against Favor Ophelia from LSU, the athlete that had previously broken the collegiate record in the 200 with a time of 21.96 just a few months previous. And even though on paper, Ophelia was officially the faster athlete, that only lasted for just under 22 more seconds, because Abby Steiner once again destroyed the NCAA record in the 200 meters, this time achieving a huge margin of victory over over Favor Ophelia and hitting the tape first in 21.80 seconds. Despite it being the first time that she had ever broken 22, she went all the way down to 21.8, crushing the collegiate record in the process. Now, amazingly, Steiner would actually once again break the collegiate record in the 200 on June 26th, when she ran a time of 21.77 at the US Nationals. And even though the 200 meter distance did turn out to be her primary event this year, her success goes so much further than just the half lap race. On May 14th, Abby Steiner, along with her University of Kentucky teammates, managed to take down the NCAA record in the 4x400 meters. For this year's SEC Championships, Team Kentucky really brought the smoke, and with a split time of 48.77 seconds, Steiner made an absolutely epic comeback to take the first place crown here, and she clearly played a huge role in breaking yet another collegiate record. I actually did a full breakdown of this very performance, so if you want to take a closer look at this incredible relay split, I'll leave a link up in the right hand corner right now. Beyond these record-breaking performances during her collegiate campaign, she also had an unforgettable World Championships, where Steiner helped Team USA win gold medals in both the 4x100 and also in the 4x400 meter relay. Now in the 4x4, she once again impressed with an amazing split time of 49.99. However, over in the 4x1 was where she really turned on the smoke, as she dropped one of the fastest second leg splits ever in 9.86 seconds, a brutal second leg that tremendously helped out Team USA. As you can clearly see from her 2022 racing resume, Steiner's athletic displays were nothing short of amazing. However, her longevity and incredible consistency just might be the most impressive part of her career thus far. A lot of times, we'll see an amazing NCAA athlete run very well during the collegiate season, but due to their exhausting and demanding racing schedules, they often completely burn out by the middle of the summer, which is when most championship races go down. This reality affects many athletes to a pretty huge degree, 
but not for Abby Steiner, whose performances never really slowed down as her season continued. And speaking of very long and demanding racing campaigns, there's actually one more race that Abby Steiner ran that many people don't even know about, and it's honestly one of the most impressive debuts in racing history. In one of our recent videos, we talked about how Abby Steiner ran a total of 57 races in 2022, more than almost any athlete from around the world. In fact, I've looked and I still have yet to find anyone who ran this amount of races. So if you can find an athlete that improves on 57, leave a comment down below. This crazy statistic makes her performances all the more extraordinary. However, there was one more race that she ran back in December of 2021 that places her total racing count at 58. On December 11th of 2021, Steiner was set to race in the Cardinal Classic in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, in many previous years, this race was used more of as a practice competition in order to get ready for the upcoming season. But apparently nobody told this to Abby Steiner because in the women's 300 meters, she dropped an absolute bomb. With yet another massive victory, Steiner once again took down the collegiate record in the women's 300 meters indoors, achieving a time of 35.80 seconds. And again, this was her very first indoor 300 meter race of her career, and she now landed as the single fastest athlete to ever run this distance in collegiate history. Even if we look on the all-time list for outdoor 300 meter races, this time would now land Steiner in the top 10 all time. Simply incredible. Clearly, this Kentucky senior was ready to race all the way back in December, and with a new 300 meter NCAA record, she managed to break a total of five collegiate records from her indoor season to her outdoor racing campaigns, ranging from December 11th of 2021 all the way up to June 26th of 2022. This means that Steiner's record-breaking running lasted a total of seven months and 15 days, which has to be one of the longest stretches of records in a single season ever. And with five new records to her name, she has now achieved quite possibly the single greatest sprinting campaign in NCAA history. From her truly dominant indoor racing to her incredible outdoor campaign, Steiner threw down new personal records in practically every single event this season, ranging from the indoor 60 meters to the outdoor 400 meter relay. And given that she is still only 22, the future looks incredibly bright for this young 22 year old athlete. And now I'll pass the question off to you. What times will Abby Steiner run in her track and field career? And will she go on to win more championship medals over the following few years? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.